This week's episode of the Coalition Report is brought to you by Hypefestation. Hypefestation.com. Live the hype. What's up gamers and gearheads, Brutality here to bring you another Coalition Report where I break down all that Gears of War goodness for you, which goodness means news. First on the docket today, we're going to talk about a little news that was going around on Twitter. Apparently a source, and I would not really say a reliable source, released some leaks about what's going to happen at E3, and among those leaks was some sort of information that Black Tusk will be providing a cinematic of some sort of what they called Gears of War Lazarus. Now, is this the final name of Gears of War? Is it even true? I'm leaning towards no. It could be a code name for the series. There's lots of code names and stuff that goes around because they don't want to reveal the real deal. So it could be called Gears of War Kitty Kitty Gumball for all I know. So I wouldn't really look too deeply into this until we kind of get closer to the date. But some good news coming out of Black Tusk for you that enjoy the Gears of War events that they have. They have updated the Gears of War 3 and Gears of War Judgment events. Now for a bit about competitive news. As you guys may remember, Goats vs. Jokes 2 happened last week and congratulations to Glory for the win. And guess what usually happens after a tournament? You guessed it, team changes! The Synergy saga continues as Synergy has decided to release Noxious from the team. This time it was a majority decision. Noxious mentions on his Twitter that he didn't play well because he was going through some personal stuff. But a few days later Synergy announced that they had picked up Toy Soldier. Also a new change, Glory has decided to pick up Kirill. Solars will not be able to attend Hypefest Station 3, so they decided to pick up Kirill's. Now, a little more to that story, Perspex doesn't know if he's going to be playing with the team anymore. He says maybe that they shouldn't just have landed on Kirill's, maybe they should have tried out other people, so whether Pers Perspex is going to be continuing to play or not, I'm sure we'll find out in the coming week. Flames, former member of Infinity, mentions that he, Wildy, and Supreme are looking for a fourth right now. They are playing a little bit with Wingos. Now, this kind of forms some sort of question. I know, women thinking, wow, what modern days. But why is he not back on Infinity? Did he want to form his own team? Or did the guys not let him back on Infinity? I don't know what happened there. If you are attending Hypefest Station 3, and do not have a team, make sure you check out Fatal Strike's thread that he put on the Black Tusk forums. He made this for teams who are recruiting and for free agents who are looking for a team, so this might make it a little bit easier for you guys. On episode 7 of All About the Hype, they talk a little bit about the Gears of War 3 League that will be happening on May 18th and will last 9 weeks. You can find a little bit more about that on the show. Also mentioned, Hypefestation 3 passes are now on sale. Get your teams registered. The longer you wait, the more you'll have to pay, so make sure you get your teams signed up as soon as possible. That wraps up all the news for the week. I want to ask you guys this week, we had a good discussion about the Gears of War TV series, so I want to keep the discussion going. What do you think the next Gears of War installment should be called? I want to hear from you, and we may mention some of the titles next week on the show. Hopefully, we'll have enough news to do that. But until the cog turns again, we'll have some more news for you next time. Thank you guys for watching and listening with your ear holes. I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful week.